Hi everyone, I'm Ryan. Welcome to my garage. So I've been away for the last um, couple of weeks uh, visiting my family, uh, my new grandson, and I want to say thank you very much for the congratulations that you passed to me. Genuinely appreciate it. Um, now, I've been playing a game. I've been playing a game of delivery roulette. So I don't know if you guys know the rules. Uh, what you do is you go online, you order a load of things that you want for a bike um, or anything else, uh, and then you wait for the deliveries, which do not arrive as expected. So um, I have been uh, waiting for, for over a week for a variety of deliveries. Um, some have arrived. So I have ordered um, throttle, which I'm going to try and fit to the scrambler. Um, so I took your, your advice, your suggestions that a single throttle cable should be okay. Um, so let's try fitting that, see how that gets on. I bought a selection of springs. Um, so I need a spring for the rear brake. Uh, instead of buying one spring for four pounds, I bought 54 springs for eight quid. Um, so hopefully I can find one in here which fits and does the job. Um, I've also ordered a seat so that I can try and start working out how I want the back end of the bike to start shaping up. That hasn't arrived yet. So uh, that's frustrating. Um, and a few other little bits and pieces here and there. Anyway, to begin with, let's move this bad boy out of the way. Let's create some space so I can work on that. Um, see if we can get done some jobs. On that note, just before I move this out of the way to create space for today, I want to thank you all again for your suggestions around why the revs are still hanging up on this bike. Um, good suggestions. Some of you suggested maybe the, 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 the carb sliders are worn. Um, maybe. I mean, that is possible. Also, I possibly wasn't allowing it to warm up long enough before I was trying to balance the carbs. So yes, I was letting it get warm, but I was probably giving it five minutes. Um, multiple of you have said no, until it's genuinely up to temperature, trying to balance the carbs and sort the mixtures out is not gonna work properly for me. So maybe not right now, but maybe not even on camera, but I'm gonna try it again, get it properly up to temperature, and then try adjusting the carbs again and balancing them and see if that makes a difference. Because it's definitely improving, but it's still not where it should be just yet. Um, but your help, thank you. Right, let's get this moved. So let's get onto this. Um, so for those of you that watched, I think my last upload, I managed to get the rear brake working, but I need a spring which will just hold the pedal up and attaches up here somewhere. I haven't worked out where the somewhere is yet. However, um, when I looked online, the, let's say the single springs were about four pounds something. And this is a packet of 54 springs um, for about eight quid. So I figured that was a sensible way forward. And there's a whole long, wide variety of lengths and strengths. And it's not exactly a scientific requirement I mean it literally just needs to pull the lever up so if I can work out how to get into this packet which I wasn't expecting to be complicated is that a hinge or a catch yeah I don't know I genuinely don't know how to get in okay we'll worry about that oh there we are. that was a hinge and we will try and measure approximately what we need and then from that little bad boy we'll find something that does the job um, first question is, <laughs> where does that actually attach to? Or am I missing the bit it should attach to? Don't know. Don't know. Come back to that. There we go. Found it. It just clips into the bottom of this bracket down here. It's quite straightforward. And the resting position will be about there when I get the, uh, the stay at the back. So that spring is under a little bit of tension. It's a nice strong spring and that is working. So as a return feature, that will do the job. Please with that, much cheaper than buying them individually. 
Right, throttle. Let's start playing with that, see if it fixed the handlebars. See if I can attach it to the car because it's not for this bike, it's a generic throttle assembly. Um, so this might be fun and games. Alright, so what did we get? We got... switch which I intend to use as its sole form of ignition so that will be run and stop hopefully fitted on there somewhere we'll deal with that in a minute and hopefully a mechanism that one way or another I can use as a throttle. So there's lots of bits and it's all in pieces but let me see if that's going to work. So I'm going to try and piece this together. It's like a jigsaw, it's like a jigsaw puzzle without the piece, without a picture of the solution and all sorts of bits. Some of which may or may not fit the bike at all. And one way or another, I want to try and get them on here. So, we'll see. None of which is complex, but it looks like it is the right diameter for handlebars. That is a good starting point. Right, let me start playing with it. Okay, so, some progress. I have a throttle on the handlebars. It fits the handlebars. It rotates smoothly and it operates the cable. However, the end of the cable has got the wrong connector on it. So this carb has like, um, it expects like a round end on the end of the cable. This doesn't have that. So I'm going to look at what other cables I've got or maybe stuff off of bikes. See if I've got something I can fit to the end of this cable to fit the carb. In the meantime, I'll get the tank off, check that the cable roots. I don't think that's an issue. That looks like it will reach fine. Um, and move forward. But I do have a kill switch, uh, although it's not connected to anything yet. But that will easily be wired into the very rudimentary wiring system that I do have. So that's cool. I fitted a throttle and this cable is not going to easily connect. Firstly it's too thin so that the bracket designed at the top of the carbs to actually rest against the, 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 the sleeve goes straight through and the attachment if you can see that it's just a like a bicycle attachment needs one of these thick ends on it. Now I have got two old cables. Can I hybrid this system together and use that throttle with these cables somehow? Don't know. Don't actually rate my chances very highly here. Um, let's give it a go. Let's give it a try. I'm going to take it off, see, just see if those cables will go on this mechanism or not. Uh, We'll find out. <sighs> the bike gods are teasing me. So the cable that came with the throttle does not fit the carbs. But the original cable that does fit the carbs also fits the throttle mechanism. And that screws in to the mechanism there. And the end fits into the recess there. So it's incredibly close, but I've got this 90 degree corner here and the cable has got a 90 degree corner and I don't want that. 
So I've got all the components I need to make this work in the wrong combination. I need this straight connector here on this outer shield with a cable that's got this connection on it. And I think if I cut this one down, if I cut the end off, I can pull this apart into its components and then use this outer shield and put it together and then solder an end back on. Why won't that work? What am I missing? I'm going to try it. Worst ways, I'm going to just destroy a couple of throttle cables. And I'm no worse off than I am to begin with. So yeah, I'm going to try it. I'm going to cut the end off this cable, pull it through, cut the end off the other cable, slide it into this outer shield, combined with this straight connection, and then resolder an end on. I think I can do that. I think I can do it. So, stage one. Which end do I not need? They're the same. That's the end I want to reuse. So I'm going to cut this cable off here. Yes. I'm going to cut that cable off and I've got wire cutters. Done. Pull that through. That should. Yep. Okay. So there is the inner sleeve that I want to use the end of. And this is the outer sleeve I want with the adjustments and the fixings but I don't want that and what I want is the other I need this that now hit some resistance. It didn't hit resistance until right near the end so it must be right on that metal. Ah there we go, it's through, it's through, it's through, it's through. She's through. Right so. Thought that was going to sit on there better. Ah, okay so I need to address this connection here. Okay so I've now removed that unwanted connection off the end. Let's try this again. Still thinking I've got all the components necessary here. If I can just get them together correctly. So that's now feeding back in. There we go. Come on, feed through. That's not damage or anything, that's just it's met where the metal end is on. There we go, that's three. That is now in place. And that now makes a nice connection. Good. Good. That's what I want. Might put a bit of heat shield over that in a minute. But it's there. Cool. So sit rep, that is on, it's fitted, it's got the connection looks good, so I've managed to actually make that look like factory, and that's nice and smooth, working properly on the thicker um, cable now, which this end, if you can see that, has got the metal connector 
the adjustment and plenty of cable left. So that is operating. The only thing I need to do is get that um, round end on the end of this. I need to pause now, just had someone arrive at the house. Um, but I'll come back to this and try and work out how to get an old one off and reuse it. Or might go shopping to see whether you can buy blanks and solder them on. Either way, I'm one connector away from having a working throttle cable. I'm sure I can conclude this. Right, I'm back in the garage. I need to try and harvest one of those. And my first method I'm going to try, which may well not work, is to try holding that device, pulling upwards with the pliers whilst heating that. Let, wish me luck. Second. It's not moving. All right, we think this is not going to plan. So I've been stopped in my tracks. Um, I thought that the end of the cable, the little tiny. You can't see that, it's not focusing, but the little um, knob on the end, um, nipple, I think it's called, um, I thought I could reuse this. I thought it was soldered on and I've tried removing it with heat. That did not work. So I thought, okay, well I can cut the cable off and I'll drill it out and then solder it on. Um, it's hardened metal. I can't drill it, not certainly with a a 1.5 mil drill bit it's just not having it so I'm having to rethink replan um, I've looked online and I can buy these um, in a like a repair kit um, which I've ordered so when that arrives I can fit this to the cable then fit the cable to the bike and then test it until it arrives I'm stuck um, I've received uh, a, an email telling me that a seat that I ordered um, eight days ago uh, is due for delivery today, uh, which is good, but it was on a three day delivery, so that's not so good. Look, that's all I can do today. So with that in mind, I'm gonna say goodbye to you all. Thank you very much. Uh, as soon as stuff arrives, I'll get an upload up to you quickly, and uh, hopefully we can get a working throttle. All right, cheers then. Thanks all, and bye for now.